Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back with another message you need to hear right now. Let's hop right into it and find out. Was that your angels really want you to know? From the jump, I am hearing that you guys have truly shocked people with your ability to bounce back from the things that you guys have gone through. I do feel like for a lot of you, you don't really share what you're struggling with, but it's pretty evident that you've been through a lot because of your attitude towards life and the way that you guys take whatever life throws at you. There has been friends in your life or coworkers or people you've dated that have noticed that whenever you guys go through something, you remain in a really positive attitude. Even if it's something really tough or tragic, you guys tend to just solve problems on your own and you guys could be really independent as well. I feel like a lot of people are even shocked and impressed by you guys just by the way you guys really bounce back from things i'm really hearing a lot of different things right now but you definitely have people impressed inspired shocked and even mad at your ability to remain strong and positive during life's challenges a lot of you guys have gone through things and you don't even give yourself the credit that you really deserve like I really do feel like a lot of you guys don't even realize that a lot of people couldn't even make it through a lot of the stuff you guys have gone through. I'm definitely feeling an energy of someone coming in right now that has realized that you guys have gone through so much and they actually regret not being a better support to you guys during that time period. You have somebody that's in deep reflection and they're going over conversations you guys had and situations you guys have gone through and they really are coming to the conclusion that maybe you were just struggling during that time period and they were more than a hurt or a hindrance and a help. And they really regret that. This could have been somebody you guys broke up with, ended things with. But this person still sees you guys as a light and inspiration because they realize that you have helped them so much while you were going through so much during that time period, if that makes sense. And I think you guys have a reputation for that. Anyone that does deal with you guys that has the least bit of empathy, even if at the time period they may have messed up their connection with you, they start to really reflect and feel bad about the way they treated you because you guys tend to like hold people up during their darkest hour, but no one's really there for you. Or you're holding people up or helping people while you're the one who still needs help too as well. And a lot of you guys don't even realize that because you may see yourself as just not really needing anybody or can't really trust anybody or you can't ask anybody for help. But there's definitely people coming into your life that want to be that help for you guys. I do feel like during this time period, you guys can feel extra exhausted as you are releasing energies of people in situations that were taking, taking, taking while you guys were also trying to get yourself through tough time periods too. I feel like a lot of you guys have dealt with people who are codependent on you, who demand a lot from you, and yet at the same time, didn't even want to acknowledge your pain and the things that you guys have gone through. And some of those people you guys eliminated because of that reason and their life is not going as well as it was while you guys were there because you guys just naturally tend to look out for and help and protect the people around you. Plus, you guys are my light workers and my healers. If you're new here, welcome. You guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new or if you've been here for a while. Welcome back. But I always tell you guys, you know, if you've been here a while, if you're new, it doesn't matter. You guys are meant to hear this message. But you are a healer. You are a light worker. And a lot of times, you guys tend to just take on the problems of the people around you. And of course, a lot of people don't really embody your same gifts and wisdom. But but the silver lining is that you guys are very divinely protected by God, by your angels, and your purpose is really important here. So there is going to be situations where people love being around you, but also are kind of jealous of the strength that you embody. I really do feel like some of the strength you guys embody is otherworldly. Other people really can't bounce back the way you guys do, but yet you guys still show up for the people that you guys really care about or show up to work or even just show up for yourself and bounce back super fast. I just keep hearing the same message like, how does this person do it? How do they bounce back after what life has thrown at them? And there's also some people that were so stuck in this victim mentality of all the things they've gone through. You tend to really trigger those individuals who feel like because of what they were dealt or what they've gone through, they can't succeed in life or they can't really get up every morning, but yet you guys do that. And for the right people, you're inspirational. But for some people, they really resent this strength in you because they wish that they had it. And also sometimes your strength really does call out the people that kind of have given up on themselves, if that makes sense. I know that sounds kind of sad, but there's a lot of people out there who don't just keep trying. I feel like at the end of the day, no matter what you guys have gone through, whether you fail, whether you succeed, you're trying your best. Every day you wake up and try your best. A lot of people, they just given up. They make excuses. Life handed me this. Life handed me that. I can't. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be successful. I might as well not try. You guys never enter with that attitude. You're always those people of like, 
I'm trying to make it myself, but let me help you too as well. Or whenever you guys discover something new, like a skill, or you find out a better way to get through something, or whenever you guys bounce back, or whatever secrets you guys kind of figure out for yourself, I really see this like teacher mentor in you where you go around and try to help other people so that they don't have to go through the same suffering you guys have gone through. And what if I told you guys that you have gone through a lot more suffering than most people? That would kind of help you guys not to be super over empathetic for the people that are robbing you of your energy and hating on you when you guys are just trying to do your thing. Like, I do feel like a lot of you have dealt with a situation where, or a few, or a bunch where you're trying to help people that haven't even had it as tough as you. And maybe they need to be going through that situation for their own karma, for their own growth. Because especially you guys are trying to help people when they are literally causing the problems in their own life. I really feel like for a lot of you, you've gone through so much and people may not even believe you guys when you try to tell them the stuff that has been thrown at you that really isn't your fault. Yet there is certain people that they do kind of bring problems and drama, make themselves a victim, and you guys have gotten suckered into that, but yet you still are dealing with your own stuff, other people's drama, yet you're still succeeding and shining. I really do feel like there was a certain individual too as well, somebody toxic in your life that really kind of tried to throw things at you or they were kind of seeing you as someone that they were competing with or there was something going on in this person's delusional mind, but they genuinely want to make your life harder because they were jealous of your strength, but yet you took whatever this person thrown at you and you transmuted it and somehow you're doing better and thriving after that situation. Now, I do feel like for some of you guys, maybe you don't feel like you're thriving right now. You really feel defeated and sad, but at the same time, you're still doing what you need to be doing, and you're looking good and you're shining. You do have a gift of alchemizing. That's what I'm hearing. You have a gift of alchemizing the negativity that the world, that people throw at you. And as a healer, you guys tend to get thrown a lot of energy at you. And on top of that, you tend to absorb a lot of people's energy. So a lot of you guys may not, not realize this, but you guys can truly switch that energy around and transform it. Whether it is going through a situation and just figuring out the lesson and moving forward, you guys tend to close out karmic cycles quicker and faster than a lot of people. You just get it. In terms of spirituality, you just get it. And I do feel like a lot of you guys as well trust in the path that God has set for you. You're not trying to you know, pave your own way here. You're, you're realizing you're part of a bigger plan, a bigger picture. And it makes it easier for you guys to go through those transitions in life that other people really struggle with. But again, people are really inspired by you guys. I feel like your story is meant to be heard, meant to be told. And for a lot of you, you need to acknowledge your pain as valid because a lot of you guys were on survival mode where you've gone through things and you're like, okay, let me pick it up. Let me keep moving. And you never really realized that while you guys were empathizing with everyone else's pain, you didn't realize that you still had your own that you needed to deal with because you don't make that pain anyone else's problem and you have successfully alchemized it. It doesn't mean you you don't deserve to pat yourself on the back or you don't deserve to feel sorry for yourself about some of the things you've gone through. But I do feel like at the end of the day, you guys saw no value in like feeling bad for yourself. You just saw like, okay, this is what you know God gave to me. I can handle it. I'm going to keep it moving. And I bet a lot of you guys do get kind of irritated and annoyed at people that you are trying to help and they say that they can't do something because most of the time you guys are only speaking from experience when you try to help somebody. And yeah, there's definitely a hate or two as well I'm hearing because this person really thought that like, basically they told themselves these like stories that like they were never going to be successful or they had stuff, they didn't have anything handed to them or blah, 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 like, and they kind of met someone like you, and I feel like maybe your guys' story was similar, or yours was even harder, but yet you guys ended up, like, more successful, or, uh, yeah, you ended up not making excuses because of your circumstances, and yeah, because you guys refuse to see yourself as a victim, or as someone that just, you know, has it rough all the time, I feel like a lot of you guys also see yourself as beautiful, as blessed, as amazing, and it's other people that sometimes make you guys feel otherwise, you guys are very talented, you're very skillful, and you guys, again, if you don't know how to do something, you just figure it out. And you don't just hide out in your room and give up. And I really do feel as well, for those that feel like maybe, you know, you are at that stage in life, you don't really realize that even your ability to, you know, be, go hermit and focus on things yourself and tune people out while you're going through things is also a strength. Like there's a lot of people out there that they just keep, you know, trying to grasp onto other people or leech off other people to make it to that next step. And you guys don't do that. I really feel like you go inward, you pray, and, you know, if a hand reaches out to you that is helpful to you, maybe you take it. But most of the time, I really feel like you guys don't go looking for handouts when you have an issue or a problem. You really just try to figure it out on your own. And you may have gone through a season of life just like that. I, I hear for you, a lot of you guys that God really wants to hand you guys helpful people. But unfortunately, you don't believe that they exist because you've gone through so much BS with people that, like, trying to, you kind of, like... 
what I'm trying to say, they try to relate to you guys maybe by your struggle or they try to empathize with you guys, but really a lot of people may manipulate you into thinking they're the victim in a lot of situations and you guys are trying to help out those people when in reality it's a lot of people that are very empowered and in in a better place in life that want to come out and help you guys out and partner up like there's generally people out there that do love their life that love helping people that don't have drama all around them that are not always going through chaos and i feel like you guys are genuinely one of those people as well I do feel a lot of the drama and chaos you guys have gone through was through other people bringing that to you because they didn't have a good sense of self or they wanted to be victims in certain situations or you guys are, you know, trying to cheer people on and help people that are not doing the work themselves. And that's another thing too as well. People have realized that you guys are the people that are doing the work and that's why they want to sit back and try to say that you guys have something going for you that they don't. You guys really don't. You just are more in alignment and you're more determined to get the job done. I definitely sense a lot of jealousy um, in your guys' um, aura field right now. So continue to cord cut, cleanse, and rest, you know, if you need to, especially if you eliminate a lot of people. But I do feel like there's a jealousy re revolving around your guys' strength and, and resilience, which is crazy because that's why a lot of you guys have gone through situations with people that you have confided in the things you were going through, but they didn't care or they even tried to bring you down worse. It's because yet they see you still succeeding and shining and they don't care about your problems that you've gone through because they already see you in such a high light. And that's why I always tell you guys, you got to understand the way people view you. Like, wow, even when you're down and out and you're at your worst and you feel like you are just not in a great place, other people are still seeing you as a position of envy and power. Like, so keep up the good work. You're extremely powerful, extremely resourceful. Yeah, people are jealous of you guys because they feel like you guys just have the freedom that they don't. like. And I really feel like you guys also are willing to let go of things that no longer serve you. And that grants you this freedom. Like, there's a lot of people who feel like they can't do what you guys do or be like you guys because they're, still, they're too stuck in holding on to things that aren't for them. And you guys are, like, perceived as someone that's free-spirited and even happy-go-lucky at certain points. But in reality, I just feel like you guys don't make your problems other people's problems. Or you're very good at freeing yourself from the things that are creating problems in your life i think that's just what it is you guys may move fast because you're very good at identifying the problem people the problem situations i always like to say this too as well like um my brain tends to be like troubleshooted to like find solutions to problems and i feel like a lot of you guys can feel you the same way like you're just not going to sit in a problem and be like oh well you know it's time to watch tv tonight no i feel like a lot of you guys are restless until you can solve whatever problem or situation that has arose in your life which sometimes can lead to you know not so healthy things. I feel like you guys can kind of learn to just like relax and chill at certain points and let things resolve itself if you tried everything in the book. But I do feel that there's a lot of people who just like relax in their chaos. And it's like, you guys can't do that. You're like, okay, no, we got to keep it moving here. Like this isn't healthy. And it's genuinely because your vibration cannot sit in that frequency. You know, your vibration can't sit in the chaos. You can't exist. You're not comfortable in, in that darkness. And a lot of people are very comfortable in darkness and chaos and drama because they thrive on it or you guys don't like you're generally trying to get yourself out of those situations so like i said before there's a lot of people you may relate it to at certain points in your life i'm going through this so am i but yet you elevated out of it and they're still in that and because there's a part of that individual that may be stuck in that phase or addicted to the drama that that situation entailed that you were relating to them about whether it be like a toxic ex or family issues or this or that and again we're not like dismissing our pain or things we've gone through it's a complete opposite it's acknowledging what is wrong there so we can heal from it and then move forward with it. And again, naturally, you guys just tend to do that. I really feel like you freed yourself from certain people. And, you know, if they don't understand your energy, so be it, you know. But there definitely are people that, you know, they can say what they want about you. But one thing is for sure, your, your strength is something that they cannot even talk down upon. Like, people could say maybe that you guys are becoming unrelatable to them in one way or another. But... I feel like you guys just have this sense of destiny and that's why, okay, yeah, there's definitely people out there that think that you are like luckier, but it's not that you're luckier, it's that you're willing to move past the things that are unlucky and unfortunate, Um, you know, I was uh, kind of like, and this book is toxic, but I always tell you guys, especially in my first channel, my car channel, like the laws of power, I was just thinking like avoid the, um, the unlucky and the miserable, you know, like that's like one of the laws of power. And I was just thinking about that because misery does love company. So you guys are seeing that someone is stuck in this unlucky, miserable, life's out to get me energy. You're like, uh oh, this is going to be contagious. Either let me help this person pinpoint what the issue is and get them back on their feet. And if they're not willing to do that, let me keep it moving. So I do think there's a lot of people that you guys have dealt with that you've tried to help in this way. And so you win some, you lose some, you know, I think there's someone that you guys were like, okay, I had enough of this. You walked away from them, but they realized that like, you're going places that they're never going to go unless they get it together. Like, there's somebody here who realized that you guys are giving yourself the freedom to go towards your destiny. It's not something that God just handed to you. 
And I do feel as well that there's definitely a past lover here that is mad as hell because it looks like you guys are just ready to move on to the new and the better. Like, they just feel like, okay, what I'm hearing with the heart didn't break even. Like, that's what people really think about you guys. They think that, like, when you guys walk away from them or situations that you're not hurting because of the way you react to the problem. But, you know, I'm not still hearing um, Captain Jack Sparrow. It's not, the problem is, is your reaction to the problem, not the problem. What did he say? I don't know. If someone remembers that, what he said, like, leave it down below. But, yeah, it's your reaction to the problem that is what makes the difference in your life. Like, I really feel like you guys can be truly hurting, but if you know someone or something is becoming toxic, a miser a miserable and unlucky in your life, you're like, let me just move away from that. And uh, someone is realizing that here. They're like, oh, maybe this person wanted to free themselves from me because I truly was bringing them down in one way or another. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys have sent someone through the spiritual growth they needed. And again, you guys are going to be that energy in a lot of people's lives. And at the time period of dealing with those individuals, they're not going to get it. But after the fact, or even a little bit of your energy can cause a shift in a transformation that is truly necessary in their life. Look, actually, this was sitting at the top here. I could change, I promise. Yeah, somebody here really does want to change and be better, or they are trying to change and be better. Um, but again, we got the gossip card. Let's see. Yeah, I really do feel like people are talking about you guys to this individual in general. People are talking about the fact that you guys are looking good, that you're shining. I do think there's someone here that's still interested in you guys. And there's could be people that are watching you that know you that also know them. And they're telling this person like, yeah, I'm sure this person has a new love. And they're just like doing new things. And like, that, that's a funny thing too, as well, especially for my independent people out there. Um, like, as, when you guys deal with an individual, especially romantically, there's a lot of people out there who really don't know how to be alone, but you guys kind of mastered that or you were forced to master it, which is really difficult if you guys had to go through that, especially for those that were kind of in isolation a lot of your life. You learn to be alone, but there's a lot of people who haven't really mastered that. So when you walk away and you're not like desperate to just be in a relationship or codependent, people tend to think, oh, they must just found someone else. But in reality, you guys are just finding new ventures, new love for yourself, spirituality, growing, and you're, tru you're truly in love with the process of just growing and evolving more than you're in love with the process of just being stuck with somebody. And I think that, yeah, there's someone here that's like, uh, I don't really think they have a new love. I think they're just doing them. Like, I think that someone's trying to get in someone's head here who is still interested in you uh, from your past being like, oh, they probably have a new love. And this person's like, no, I don't think so. That's just not how they are, you know? Um, but maybe at first that this person let the gossip get to them. Again, I really do feel like people just hating on you guys because you have this energy to take people's... Um, situation and help them change it if they really want to and you definitely were dating or seeing somebody who you really truly changed their life and they're still like have people that are reporting back to them and i feel like for some of you guys this is a past lover who is seeing if you're still single like that they're still interested and they want to kind of come back in there um i also feel as well that if you guys did get into a new relationship um that that people genuinely think that like you're not coming back after that because um you definitely have this like I'm going to what's best for me energy, not, oh, I'm just going to be in a relationship to, to rebound because I need somebody. So that's why when you guys truly do pick somebody out, people must think there's something really great about that individual because you don't have the reputation for just needing somebody. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys um, definitely look like you are just like glowing up, doing really well. Yeah, true love. There's somebody here who thinks that they are true love and they kind of regret acting really icy towards you guys because what I am hearing is that this person is, is realizing that like, yeah, they assumed wrong about you because it's easy to blame you. Yeah, this person may have had people in their ear or they blamed you for the certain problems going on in their life. But you know what happened? After you guys left, their problems may have gotten worse. And they realized that, you know, especially for people who are in situations where maybe their family's toxic or their friends are toxic. If it's not you, it's going to be the next person that comes to their life that they come in and they destroy. So someone around them or people around them may have been repeating problems that you guys were trying to tell this individual because like I said before, like when I was mentioning that you guys just kind of go through the karma and keep it moving, it's because you're built to be like that. You've been there, done this. My life because my healers are coming here to help and teach people. You may have your own karma, but it's like, you know, you got that strength, resilience, and that connection with God that helps you get through it super fast. But there's other people like that karma can be really tough for them, especially if it's family karma or fitting in karma or putting anything else above their purpose karma you know like they you guys are more purpose oriented so you're willing to go through the struggle if you feel like that's where god is calling you but a lot of people don't have that that um the, they don't they're not sure of themselves in this way you know so there's definitely somebody here who were there were things or karma karma or people around them but they're maybe they thought you guys were like 
selfish for the way you guys move through situations or they were kind of i feel like they admired your strength but they're like i can never do that until they realize that you know the energies that aren't meant for them are just going to keep destroying anything that is positive in their life unless they keep it moving someone is definitely uncomfortable where they're at and they're now seeing that you guys are probably right about something they may have blamed you for things that were going wrong in their life but in reality it was just them need to outgrow a certain situation and again you guys kind of come in and bring growth into a lot of people's lives Stay in your power. Yeah, a lot of times you guys are going to question yourself because there are going to be people coming up against you just because of the fact that you you vibrate very differently and you don't move the same way. You're not a follower. You don't need validation. Um, yeah, and a lot of things, like I said, you guys have gone through. It's because you've been through that already. You're like probably telling this person like, oh, I was the, through this already. I'm trying to show you that this is the right way. But they don't, they're not getting it until they have to go through the karma themselves. We got lust here. I talked to my angels about you. Missed. Yeah, somebody misses you guys. And, um, yeah, they could, like, be lusting after you still, just especially if they're from your past. But, yeah, I feel like maybe someone wanted to come at you before they were ready. And that because there was a lot of lust and attraction there. But they're realizing now they got to do a little bit more, more work. And maybe they're realizing why you walked away or why, um, you know, God and your angel separated you guys. Um, yeah, they are motivated by you to change. You guys really, truly motivate people. You know what it is, too? There's people that, like, kind of meet you guys, and they kind of just think that, oh, maybe life just handed you all this amazingness. But in reality, as they get to know you or talk to you or watch you, a lot of you guys post, you know, online or you make content uh, or whatever the case may be, it just comes out or the things that you guys try to teach these individuals – it just becomes obvious that you've learned these things or you must have gone through things to have developed in the way that you guys have because you end up being really right and not just in a psychic way, but in like a very insightful, I've gone through this way. Or you guys should try to tell people like, yes, I've been through this. And they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Until they truly understand that you guys were right about your perspective on certain things. Or you guys are very well studied too as well about a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, they want what you have not easy to replace. There's a lot of people you guys have experienced in your life that that want what you have and they can they can kind of like come into your life in a healthy way and learn from you or they can go the opposite and become jealous and envious of the things that you guys have achieved in life or the things you overcome. And like I said before, a lot of you guys may not feel like you've gone through that much or that you succeeded that much, but in reality, if you guys already have the ability to just think for yourself, go places on your own, be independent, not need anybody, especially in your independence, I'm hearing all those things are just highly desired uh, traits that people wish they had because these traits that you guys embody are traits that help you guys move forward quicker and faster in life, especially through spiritual lessons. So spiritually, you guys are very high vibrational, very evolved, not just like when you incarnated, but also in this lifetime, just by, from the work you guys are doing on yourself. A lot of people don't have that ability to identify what is blocking their growth. So they continue on in the same way. And then they perceive you guys as getting blessings when really it's just that other side of whatever it is you guys are going through like for example maybe you guys were forced to move in a certain situation but then now you're in a new home people are like wow i wish i can make it to a new home but really you guys did the changes you needed to outgrow that environment and maybe that move wasn't smooth but to other people it looks like it because you guys are constantly shifting changing and growing it just seems like you always land on your feet and for a lot of you guys who feel down and out Look at the way that you guys have ended up. Like, I just feel like you guys always just make it through every situation wiser, stronger, better, and more blessed, even if it doesn't seem like it, because you guys could still be recovering from a lot that you've gone through. Um, yeah. I'm having such an issue with these lights, guys. I'm doing a lot of traveling, too, as well, but <laughs> it's fine, yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys just continue on. I feel like that's also what it is too. I always like to tell people this because a lot of people want to make like YouTube channels or they want to whatever, whatever context they will work in your life. Right. And so many people are focused on the problems or the little minor issues that they never actually get started on the things that they want to do. Like, uh, for example, like if someone wants to make a YouTube channel, I've seen people just get so stuck on, oh, what's the name? What's going to be my banner? And they never actually get around to making the content. Just make the content. You change the name later. Like stuff like that. It's like you guys could be the act, act first, think later type. And, um, and, and again, I'm actually hearing you seem like that too. But in reality, you guys could spend a lot of time in self-reflection and self-development. I'm really picking up on the fact that, like, again, this gossip about you. Another thing I really find funny too, I'm going to bring up too as well, because you guys could relate to this, but somebody said something shady like about me and I, I always see where the stuff is coming from. And I kind of like think that people only kind of base your life off of what they see. So for example, like if I don't, if I only post when I'm out, because you know, when I'm doing readings like this, I don't show myself on camera. So I'm not going to be posting myself while I'm working. Right. Like people who, who only see me out, only post when I'm out thinking that I'm out all the time. Like if I post one time 
a week, dur like, I, if I go to the gym every day and I don't post it, no one knows I'm at the gym, right? I kind of feel like it's kind of like you guys, or if you're at home reading books and studying stuff, people don't know you're doing that. So people think you have this magical ability to elevate, but in reality, you guys are probably doing work when no one's watching, or you're just being a good person or praying when no one's watching. Like, you guys just do a whole lot of development when no one's watching, and that's why I thought a lot of people just think that you guys just have this superior like gift when in reality a lot of it is just you guys just staying focused on what god has brought you here to do but it you know another thing is that somebody had mentioned about me that you know guys i just recently started to travel a little bit but of course my work i could take it on the go i'm still always working um that oh how does this person get to travel like i never see them working that's what like a friend's friend said about me and i'm like it's pretty obvious what i'm doing is out on the internet like you have me on instagram like it's crazy how people will just start create drama and gossip just to like look for a way to talk crap and it's kind of like i could say the same thing about that person the only time i've seen you is at the club do i assume that you don't have a job you're only at the club no like but that, that's the kind of like energy i feel you guys constantly get thrown because you kind of suffer in silence you work in silence you don't need people around you, you don't need to prove anything to anybody you just pop out when you have have the time or when you feel up for it right so um again like there's somebody here realizing you must have done a whole lot of work on yourself behind closed doors when nobody was watching a lot of studying a lot of researching or been going, going through a lot um to end up looking and acting the way that you do i feel like a lot of you guys went through a glow up you must have been spending hours in the gym or eating healthy or just making these small changes day by day to add to this big difference like people want to gossip when you pop out and you look different and you're stronger and you're richer and you're wiser and you're better but in reality you're just following your intuition and some of you guys that glow up is just natural by removing people in situations that no longer serve you but the truth is that there's one thing that is very prevalent i feel like people cannot even like clock you on and i feel like it's your strength and resilience to move past life's challenges because people that have known you guys or talked about you guys for a while they find out like oh you're actually going through this that's why you disappeared for a while or oh you're actually working on this that's why you ended up with these results so yeah it's getting pretty known that you guys are extremely hard working um vigilant and if you guys did kind of get yourself the access to like vacation or rest or chill it's because you probably worked really hard to get to that point and yeah everybody wants to talk but nobody wants to do the work i literally just posted this on my instagram too you guys could follow me on there um queen alice love i just posted on um the threads like that new like that new form that's connected to instagram i was like it's funny how people always want to comment on your life but the reason why they're behind is because they're so focused on what you're doing instead of themselves so there's so many people focus on you guys but that's where your secret power really lies like you're just focusing on yourself and doing better and being better in your own happiness and it's not based upon external validation or even money or fame it's just based upon becoming a better version of yourself and not stopping just because you know one little inconvenience like my light went out or or needing to prove yourself to other people like oh do i need to post more because this person or do i need to show this person that i'm working hard no then my life is not for them to even comment on but just like i just think it's funny because i literally have work that's public like people can see how hard i'm working but yet someone will still comment on that just to try to be shady and it, it's rooted from jealousy you know or just rooted from wanting to to start a topic about me to see you know who will want to talk you know and i just think that's funny anyway guys i was a little tired today but i wanted to go on and and uh, i had a message in my mind about the fact that you actually shock people with your strength your ability to bounce back and there are so many situations where people may even gaslight you to try to make you feel like you're not working hard or you're not even um doing all the work that you're doing on yourself but in reality the fact that they even want to sit there and comment on your life means that especially if there's people you don't know you know or people you don't know well or people that you don't even let into your your life well enough to even understand you i'll give you guys another example too as well like i used to have this friend and i consider myself introverted because i need to spend a lot of time alone just to recharge my battery but when i feel good and ready to come out of course i'm gonna bring my best self and i'm chatty because i enjoy socializing i enjoy you know meeting new people it's just that my battery runs out fast so i identify as being introvert and this friend would try to like argue with me like no you're extroverted because you're always you're talking when you're out it's like no like i'm not like and it's like people will try to tell you what you are because she's not there when i'm home you know just being by myself for hours and hours a day i don't spend my time just talking 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 to people all day long a lot of my energy exerted goes to my work but those are the things i'm trying to tell you guys about like people will always try to say things about you but they don't really know what you're doing behind the scenes but it's becoming pretty um 
obvious a certain person that you're actually working hard behind the scenes while you're going through a lot of stuff and that is why you're successful and they could be around people that don't do those things and they realize that this is the reason why you're better off or more successful or in a better place or got yourself away from those individuals it's because of this reason you you can't perform highly and engage in these energies you can't elevate and still you know sit around and talk about people all day and that's the truth and i even say this as well that's different between your guys as hermit that is actually self-development versus someone else's hermit where they could spend their time, you know, trying to figure out who they're going to get with next or they're trying to figure out like, you know, just pointless things or try to find something to gossip with or they're forcing the hermit because they're just being low, low toxic and low vibrational. If you guys are forcing the hermit, you don't use that as, a, oh, I'm going to feel sorry for myself. You're like, okay, what can I focus on now? I just feel like you guys are going through a huge transformation right now. Strangers angels want you to know. Success is guaranteed in your guys' life because of the way you handle problems and circumstances. You can literally have everything taken away from you, and yet you just keep, okay, God has another plan for me. Let me get back, let me get back on that horse, you know, after some rest, right? And there's a lot of people, they'll take one loss as something they can never recover from, and that becomes their whole tragedy, their villain origin story, when the things you guys have gone through just becomes your your story of how I overcame and how I learned this new skill. And you never truly start from scratch when you're learning, when you're starting from experience. So I feel like you guys had so many experiences in your life. Some of you guys are really on a new chapter in your life where you had a lot of things taken away from you and you got to start fresh. That's because you know that God has better planned for you. And if you're in that phase right now, don't worry about anyone else saying about you, especially some of you guys may have left the job or made changes, or maybe you're not working as hard right now because you're prioritizing rest or self-care, or you're just somebody who likes to work or move in silence. And it's really nobody's business whatever it is that you guys have going on. It's like the people are, people are trying to mind your business right now, but they should really be minding their own. And that's why they have fallen behind in life because they're just so focused on you guys. A lot of people are doing that right now, but I do feel like there is uh, energy here. Somebody who is like really thinking about you guys positively from your past. They're realizing that you moving away from these individuals was you staying in your power. There's somebody from your past trying to change and they actually really draw upon your strength and your resilience. And they're realizing that even their time spent with you, you must've been going through a lot, yet you showed up for them and you succeeded. You overcame. They only know people that latch on to other people or look for handouts or complain. They don't know people like you guys. A lot of people don't know people like you guys that just seem to just move through situations and succeed without anybody else's help. A lot of your energy really is something new that people have never experienced. So, you know, don't worry about the hate. If you guys are hearing funny things right now, if you're tired, going through elevation process. I know personally I'm exhausted, so I'm prioritizing rest. Um, and yeah, again, a lot of you guys have gone through spiritual battles that people don't even see. So of course, they're not going to understand the way that you operate in the world. I do feel like to, for somebody who's super extroverted, extra, <laughs> extroverted or like somebody that is like always on the go, I may look lazy to them in some regards because I need a lot of alone time to recover and they don't really see what I'm doing that alone time, nor do I need to explain myself to them. I just slept 12 hours. Some people can't even do that. Like it's just, I get very drained from life. And a lot of you guys probably do too, because of what you've been through or your, or your gifts or your empathy and it's just a lot harder to even operate when you have that high level of sensitivity so or you're transforming so don't worry about anyone else is saying or doing about you guys don't feel lazy if you need rest your strength is something that people actually envy and admire so don't let anybody make you feel otherwise that's kind of what i'm picking up on and someone actually missing you because they realize that you're just staying in your lane and staying focused and other people around them are just really offended by your energy but yet you are ending up successful or more successful than the people around you or them. Yeah, I'm really hearing like, how do you, how did you transform so like that? Like, how did you bounce back so fast? It's because you're not minding anyone else's business, but your own. It's amazing how that works, right? You're just praying, talking to God and moving forward. You're not listening to what anybody else says, whether it's people you love, family, friends, you're going inward. And some people still have not mastered that. And that's why you guys are on that next level, even when you don't feel like it. Childish behavior deserves discipline because a lot of people are building up their lives around false narratives where you guys may be starting from scratch or have to start over a lot, but you're building off of your truth and what you came here to do. And that will change over time. There'll be time periods where God's like, okay, you completed this cycle. You belong over here now and you may have to start fresh, but that's because your energy is needed elsewhere. So again, you guys are seen as strong, successful, resilient, and there's people mad as hell that like you just can bounce back or look like you don't even care about walking away from them. But I feel like you guys do care a lot, but you don't see the point of whining about it online or crying about it. You probably are going mourning through your own process and not 
you know, letting anybody know about that. It's really not your business when you're mourning, when you're sad, when you're working, when you're working out. If you want to like post something or show something, it's because you want to. I feel like a lot of you guys could be content creators. You can relate with a lot of the things that I'm saying. And I just want to let you guys know that like you could be hearing shady things or people could be doing some shady things towards you. It's because you are really elevating right now. And there's somebody here who does want to like travel to you and they want to be like a new love in your life. They, they are really inspired by this transformation you've gone through. And they realize that like they're not going to get there by sitting around gossiping gossiping they're gonna get there by moving towards you guys you know courting man gifts yeah what did i say somebody does want to court you guys because they feel like you're strong they're strong and you guys make a good team um they definitely feel like in the past they thought you they were around motivational people but they're actually around greedy people that's another thing too as well some people mistaken like these like people with like a hustler mentality as like someone who's going somewhere but certain people could be like hustling like in a dark way or like um, you know, addicted to like money or validation in, in, a, in a toxic way. Like maybe this person was realizing they were around those type of people when they need to be around someone like you. Um, yeah, that's why I feel like it's really important to stay true to your intuition because sometimes like people don't really realize what true happiness and success looks like. You guys seem to embody that even if you don't have all the money in the world or all the fame or all the fortunes because those things are not always of God. If God wants to grant you with that, there's a reason for that. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going through a more successful period. But yeah, um, you got a reputation. I see now I see now why you're successful. You see, guys, that kind of wraps up the reading. You guys have a reputation of just being able to keep it moving, let things go, and start fresh from things that aren't healthy for you. That is why you're successful. A lot of people, although a job makes them money, they may stay at it, even though it makes them miserable and there's low vibrations around them. And that's why you guys may be dating or seeing people that can't align with you because they could be stuck in karmic cycles that you guys already graduated from, no matter how much money they make or how good looking they are or how smart they are or how educated they are. Some people could build their whole life upon what their family expected of them when they really want to start fresh over in the corner where you guys are at. So don't look down on yourself. Also, if you don't have society's expectations of success, be happy with yourself if you're generally happy with what you're doing. And if if like that transition means being strong and walking away, then that is a step into your next version of yourself. Um, I see why you're successful. You got a reputation. You guys have a re reputation for having a secret sauce to healing, bouncing back and becoming successful, even if you guys don't know it, because you've already done things in your life that other people could even dream of couldn't even dream of doing because they're too afraid to step outside the, the expectations other people have of them they're too afraid of what people think yet you guys live your truth every day and that's why you guys could be very drained too as well because the quality that you guys have i always say this but like the nine of wands i read one time in the book the nine of wands in the tarot is about someone who's gone through so much that as a person, um, the nine of wands is a type of person that's attractive because of what they've gone through. That's you guys. And your energy field is someone who can who can persevere. And I feel like this is something you guys carried over from past lives. So yeah, you guys are going to have and continue to have a lot of admirers. There's definitely somebody here who thinks maybe you cut them off because you got someone new in your life. But in reality, I just think you guys love yourself and you don't want to be held back. And I think that you're going to have a few uh, romantic offers coming in. But one person in particular is like, you know what? I see why you're successful. I kind of want to be around you because I thought these people were successful, but they were just greedy or stuck in their low vibrational jobs or habits or scamming and scheming. When I, I want to be like you, I, I don't, you know what I mean? Someone that likes the way you guys are doing things. And I feel like there was corruption going on around them, whether it be greediness or laziness or some kind of deadly sin. I don't know, but it will really, um, resonate with your situation like somebody was around a whole lot of maybe greed or lust when they need to be around you guys who try to elevate away from those energies um yeah somebody's definitely maturing and gonna make an offer towards you guys wow we got the union card because they really feel like they'd love to wow they're taking it a step further huh they would love to have kids with you they feel like you know partnering up with someone with you would you know teach their kid about morals and 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 what's important in the world because so many people are lost and yet you guys are thriving and have people jealous of you even when you don't feel like you have much going for you but you guys really do so remind yourself that and make sure to protect yourself because there's definitely someone here who realizes that everyone around them could be a whole bunch of haters and they want to be in your direction they're tired of talking about or people trying to talk bad about you or talk about you when they could be with you you know they're like i could be i could, I, I don't want to like sit in this anymore because if it's not you it's the next person right and you guys um, are taking that energy that they're exerting towards you and transmuting, transmuting it or the energy that people waste gossiping and just being dramatic and being victim, playing victim are, is the energy that you guys reflect upon and you cause change in your own life. And on top of that, you guys probably are an expert of transmuting what people are throwing at you as well. And right now, like I said, I'm hearing that if you're extra exhausted, it's because people are throwing a whole lot of energy at you guys. I don't know if you guys have purposefully kind of threw yourself into a new environment or situation or cut off a lot of people or situation. I don't know, but because 
because there could just be some spiritual growth going on that is triggering a whole lot of people. So if you're feeling it, just keep it moving. You definitely have somebody who is coming after you guys. Um, they, they really admire you and they feel like, um, no matter what people say about you, you definitely have a reputation for being somebody that is going to be successful. Even if you guys don't feel like you are that yet, people are saying that about you. Like maybe that's the downside they, they may say that you're, you're greedy or you're selfish because you walk away from things that don't serve you anymore. People can say whatever though. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about that. This is more about you guys. Yeah. Third party prime for info. It's actually like the reason why a lot of people bring you up to other people that like you is because number one, they want to like kind of like see if there's a crack in that foundation that they can kind of seep in there and ruin your relationship or they want to check test and see if that person's talking to you if that person in your life like people are just very fascinated by you guys and there's definitely someone who's realizing that they're not going to let these third party energies pry for info about you guys anymore they're going to protect this relationship because they see you're very gifted and they want to come towards you and i feel like it's going to be multiple energies in your life friends or people that genuinely care about you they don't they can see other people want to gossip and talk badly about you but the right people in your life are going to protect you from that because there's always going to be people saying something because you guys truly are this energy this star that people are loving to watch and love to talk about okay there's more to the story yeah i feel like again someone is realizing that like people don't know the full story about you so they shouldn't talk about you and um yeah that you guys made it through whatever you've gone through in life even heartbroken over betrayals and hurt and that is something that a certain individual who is interested in you loves the most about you like they they probably knew you long enough or yeah, you're ascending super fast. See, that's that's what's going on here. There's definitely somebody here who really feels like this energy that you guys have endured is something that's admirable, not something to be talked badly about. Um, so yeah, that's what I see. And also, just, just the fact of the matter is that you guys tend to just come up in conversations all the time. Like, people realize how special you are because of the way people hate on you too as well. Especially because anyone with any bit of discernment can see like, oh my gosh, this is so dumb. Like, you know, uh, because honestly, you guys have been through a lot and no one ever takes the time to really empathize with you guys. It really means that no matter what, what room you guys are entering in, people can see you as a threat. So keep up the good work, guys. Like as much as you guys can feel weak and tired and maybe drained or even lazy right now, your strength is something that people are flabbergasted by because your resting time period could be something you guys are hardening yourself about when in reality you really deserve it so if you are taking some time to rest keep up the good work that's what i'm seeing for you guys i do hope you guys like that message i feel like right now you guys are distancing yourself from toxicity and recovering um your finances are going to be improving drastically stop worrying everything's going to be all right in a few months i do see even more positive shifts and changes going on in your life um i really feel you guys are learning not to doubt yourself and yeah you guys are really learning how to love yourself and trust your gut because they're definitely if you walked away from certain people, I really do feel like you made the right move. And there's definitely somebody here, if you walked away from them too, they're realizing that they may have made a mistake here in just listening to the low vibrational toxicities around them and letting that get to them. And I do see that someone will be trying to make a return in your life because they see your strength and they miss it. And they want to partner up with someone strong like you guys in one way or another. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. This could be like a friendship energy or a work thing, but I really feel like it's romance for a lot of you. And you do have a lot of people that would love to have someone like you around. I do feel like you guys are shedding a lot of skin. I've been picking that up like in my last reading and the reading before. So again, you guys can check me out on Patreon if you want to see more and support me. Follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. And um, comment below, I am strong. That's all you guys should comment simply i am strong and that's it because you are okay do hope you guys like that message you made it to the end i love you guys okay bye